Good morning, uh, welcome to Doctor Who Cliff's Notes. Let's get a title up. Yeah, awesome. Um, this week we're going to be looking at the first Doctor. Now the first Doctor was played by William Hartnell and originally the show was pitched as a kind of, um, I guess an educational romp through history, which basically makes it the magic school bus. Oh, the hottest redhead ever. Hartnell was 55 when he started, which ties him with Peter Capaldi for being uh, the oldest Doctor. Both he and Peter look like these kind of sexy, greying, old vulture bird men, but Capaldi is way sexier, um, partly because he's empirically sexier, but mostly because William Hartnell was a racist. RACIST! So let's get down to what made the first Doctor the first Doctor. First, defining traits! Uh, he was old and angry. Have you ever accidentally kicked your ball over a fence into like a neighbor's yard? And the neighbor's an old guy and you never really interacted with him and you ask for the ball back because if William Hartnell was that neighbor, he would hold the ball up in front of you and crush it like an egg and then explain how crushing it made you a stronger person. And then he'd grumble and walk off. Uh, he was forgetful, he was stubborn, and he was ruthless. He was a grandfather. I think this is really important. Uh, yes, the doctor left Gallifrey with his granddaughter Susan, um, it's also implied that he had more family there. In the book Lung Barrow, which I will talk about at a later date, it was going to be revealed that the first Doctor was actually the reincarnation of someone called the Other. You can hear more about this theory in a video that I made, which will have a link right here. Ah, oh, let's burst a blood vessel. The TARDIS! The first Doctor was, of course, the first Doctor, and as a result, we got to see the TARDIS for the first time. Uh, and we found out that it can't alter its appearance um, from a 1960s London-style police box. We find out later that this is because the chameleon circuit broke, although I strongly suspect it's because, you know, it looked good, so let's just deal with it. So which episode should you watch if you're going to brush up on the first Doctor? You should watch An Unearthly Child. It's the first Doctor Who story in the entire show's history, and it's actually really, really good. Uh, it's a great origin story, it's creepy as hell, it's dark, and most importantly, it's set in a junkyard. I'm not actually sure why that's important, but everyone talks about it. Um, the Dalek Invasion of Earth, fantastic, for obvious reasons, also happens to be set back when Daleks were really scary. Um, you should watch The Ark, and uh, The War Machines. The War Machines is really good. One more thing. A crap load of first and second Doctor stories uh, don't exist anymore because, and this is true, the BBC had this weird policy where uh, like, they would run out of room in the archives and so they would just wipe tape after tape of shows and I think this happened up until about 1978. So there you go. Um, that's a very, very brief look at William Hartnell's Doctor. Um, next week we're going to look at Patrick Troughton. He's the second Doctor. He is fantastic. Now, run off and watch the episodes I listed because I think they're actually on YouTube, at least some of them. That's your homework. So run off, you little scamps. Now, if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. Um, I'm on Twitter, at Paul Verhoeven. I'm on Tumblr. I think it's lessonsforchildren.tumblr.com. I say I think. I know what my address is. Uh, also, every week for the next 11 weeks, I'll be doing kind of like Cliff's Notes on each of the Doctors. Anyway, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. You guys are fantastic, and I will catch you next week.